Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Best Top 10. Let's be honest, at some point we have all spent hours on YouTube watching recipe videos and wondered, do I even have the tools to make this? Well today we're going to show you the top 10 essential kitchen equipment that everyone needs. Now of course there are millions of utensils that you can find in the market when it comes to equipping your kitchen, but we will start with the basics for now. Link to some of our favorite equipment can be found in the description below by the way. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and tell us what else you want us to cover. So let's get started. First thing you need is a good set of knives. Every kitchen essentially needs at least three knives, a chef's knife, a serrated knife, and a paring knife. The chef's knife is mainly used to cut bulky meat like a beef tenderloin or cup up blocks of chocolate for a delicious chocolate souffle. This knife can look intimidating, but it will be your best friend in the kitchen. The serrated knife is more of a fancy knife that is mostly used to cut bread or pastry evenly and can come in handy to also cut a cake pretty fast. Then there's the good old paring knife, which can be used for just about anything, but mostly to chop the smaller ingredients like vegetables. Of course, you can also get more adventurous and go buy one of those fancy set of knives that come with a holder and all, but make sure they include these three. Speaking of knives and chopping, the next thing you need is a good chopping board. There are plenty of types and shapes and sizes in the market, but we find that a good thick wooden board is the best when it comes to a multi-purpose utensil. But if you feel like splurging a little, then we would recommend getting a silicon one as well. Wooden boards are more stern, but silicon boards are more wash friendly and of course lighter to move around the kitchen. Now the next item to buy would be a good colander. For some reason, this iconic childhood helmet does not always cross our minds when buying kitchen equipment, but trust us, it is essential for almost all types of cuisine. Whether you want to wash your wedgies or fruits or strain that boiled pasta, this is the one thing that you will need right by your kitchen sink. Of course, as with all other appliances, this too comes in many shapes and forms, but we strongly recommend you buy ones with medium to small size holes and preferably a metal one that is more durable against temperature and weight of ingredients. If you're into baking, we also strongly recommend buying a good sieve. They can come from very tiny ones, fit over a mug, all the way to ones that fit a family sized pan. As a starter, we recommend one that can fit a six inch mixing bowl. They are of great use when you want to make any delicious cake by getting rid of any clumps of flour or cocoa powder. Once you have washed and chopped your ingredients, you need a mixing bowl. You may be tempted to buy those little, tiny, cute plastic ones with designs on them, but we definitely urge you to invest in some good quality glass bowls. This is simply because the glass bowls are dishwasher and microwave safe. They can be used over simmering water to melt chocolate and most often come with cover for food storage. And most importantly, they do not react with any food product. Up next is the one thing you see in every recipe, every single one, and that is measuring cups. You may think this is just for baking, but trust us, these things can come in handy even for savory dishes. Unlike the previous ones, here the material isn't of much concern in our opinion. So whether you pick a metal or a silicon one, both will do the job well. Just make sure that the measurements are written on it. You may think, well, it's fine even if it's not written, I can just remember them according to the order. Trust us, you won't. Along with measuring cups, also purchase a liquid measuring cup. These have measurements in milliliters or ounces written on them too and are more accurate for measuring water, oil and milk. Next up is a duo. We can't imagine cooking without it. Rubber spatula and hand whisker. Everyone, and we repeat everyone, needs these two items in their kitchen drawers. The rubber spatula will help you fold, mix and cook just about anything that is even slightly wet, whether it's a pancake mix or a fancy cheesecake. And just as important is the hand whisker. You may think to yourself that do I really need one? Well, we're telling you that you do. It can be useful to make a thick gravy or to even mix your eggs for a delicious Sunday brunch. You will never regret having one. But when it comes to buying a whisk, we do prefer a metal one. They tend to have thinner strands and are also more efficient in mixing batter. Speaking of whisks and mixing, we highly recommend buying a handy electric mixer. These mixers come in a variety of sets and qualities and brands. As a beginner especially, a simple hand mixer that comes with at least a whisk attachment and preferably emulsifier is of great use. But if you want to take a bigger step, a standing mixer will be of even bigger help because you can just set it up and keep adding your ingredients in. 
Now everything we mentioned so far will help you prepare your food or dessert, but what are you going to cook or bake it in? That's why we urge you to get some great nonstick pans and baking trays, but for now we would say you should start with four basics. A deep pan with cover that is very useful for cooking any rice dish or boiling pasta, a non-stick skillet to sear and fry, a square baking tray to make any delicious cake and a flat baking tray for any home cooked dish like pizza, pastry or even to roast some veggies. Last but certainly not least, the thing that should never be forgotten are some good quality kitchen towel and gloves. At some point we've all burnt our hands trying to hold the pot or spilled some boiling water on the kitchen floor and yet so many of us forget to buy these essentials when moving to a new kitchen. So next time you're shopping for kitchenware, check out some padded gloves and thick kitchen gloves to avoid burning your hands again. We hope this list helped you set up your kitchen. Don't forget to check out the link below for our favorite items and let us know what else you want us to cover next.